Hi, it's Alan. I'm going to show you a little important step we may have left out in talking to you about animated GIFs and uploading them to WordPress. It's really important. There's a couple things about the files and the way they're uploaded to WordPress that are going to really affect you. So I have my blog here, and the key thing is like knowing how much space you have to work with to put your animated GIF in. So uh, this is the uh, 2012 theme. It's got pretty wide space. Uh, some other blogs may only have about 500 pixels of room. But you're going to want to make sure that your animated GIFs are sized just enough to get in there. So one way you can do this is to take a screenshot. And uh, I'm going to do it with my software here. Uh, however you take a screenshot, there's many ways to do it. So, um, And then uh, you have this file. And I'm going to go and find it on my computer. And uh, there it is. I think I got it. And I'm going to open it up into preview. And... Um, Basically, I'm going to crop out the part that I want to measure. There's other ways. Preview, actually, uh, when I use the selection tool, um, is going to uh, give me the dimensions of a selection area. So I'm just making sure I got my selection tool activated. Good job, Alan. So I'm just going to grab the part of the column, with it, which is the post. And I can already see I got 720 pixels. So that's actually plenty of room to work in. But if your software doesn't do that, um, you're just going to make um, a crop version of your screenshot and use your um, whatever is your image size tool. And you can see, well, yeah, I do have 740 pixels. That's how much I have to work with. You want to make sure that your animated GIF is no wider than your column. 500 pixels is a really safe number. And actually, your GIF file will be smaller if it's a smaller size. So this tells you that your original animated GIF, you want to make sure, is no wider uh, than the room you have to put it in there. It's kind of confusing for now, but stay with me. So I got this uh, animated GIF I did from some photos when I was driving across uh, Texas uh, a couple months ago. And I got a whole folder for all of GIF stuff. And so I've got this one black oil well. You can see it moving there. And I can check. Yeah, it's 500 pixels wide. So, you know, I'm going to be good to go um, because I know this one will fit in the um, space allowed in my WordPress theme. So. Uh, it's time to do a blog post, I'll go, and I'm already logged in, so I'm going to create a new post. And as I'm you know, loading this, I'm going to say, I'm probably going to give it, you know, because my teacher says I need to give my post some really good titles. So, uh, drilling for fun, no, I know, black, gold, uh, Texas, oh, boy, I have trouble typing, Texas T, uh, I even spelled that wrong, so uh, in relationship to the kind of TV that I watch. So, I type a little, you know, what I would type in a blog post. You, of course, would type a lot more because we really want you to not only correct your spelling, but to sort of use your um, blog writing space as a way to describe the work that you do. Uh, maybe build a story around this image. Maybe talk about what it means to you or where you got it, how you put it together, um, etc. So, but since this is a little demo, I'm just going to do uh, a little quick test. So I'm ready to insert my animated GIF. And it's going to go like right here. So I click the Upload, Insert, also Add Media button. It's going to bring up this interface here. And you can either use a Select button to go through your file chooser, but it's kind of more fun to drag and drop. So I'm going to go to my desktop, uh, find my file, just plop it right in there, uh, go back to WordPress. And as you see, it's uploading pretty quick. This is good. A few things really important in the Upload Media. By default, it's going to build a link to the image file. Um, I really don't want that uh, for the most part, so uh, I'm going to clear that out. Uh, unless I decide I really want it to link to a specific site that I picked, like maybe the Beverly Hillbillies homepage. Um, and next is really important is the size. So WordPress um, and many themes, by default, when you upload an image, actually creates multiple copies. There's a thumbnail. 150 pixels by 150 pixels. This theme creates a default one that's medium, 300 by 192. Um, and the problem is when you upload an animated GIF, these copies that WordPress makes um, will still be a GIF file, but they will lose its animation. And that's just kind of maybe a bug with it. So you always want to make sure with an animated GIF that you upload the full size. In this case, I know my original is 500 pixels wide. But um, make sure you upload for your animated GIF, you choose uh, with the radio button, the full size option because that's your original uh, animated GIF file that has the animation built in it. All the other ones are going to lose animation and you're going to be frustrated. So I know it's kind of confusing, but just stay with me. So and then I'm going to click insert into post. 
Um, and you can see here in my graphic editor that uh, there's my GIF. And uh, oh, by golly, she's moving. So that's good shape because I inserted the original GIF. That's good. And normally I would write a lot more story and I would categorize my posts and I'd be tagging them like crazy because it's good to be tagging. Um, so it's published now. And now it's just time to see what we came up with. And I'm going to view my post. Here's my blog. Here's my new post. And look at her animate. That's good. That's what you want to happen. You want the animation to happen right in the page. So a little confusing. Uh, and I know we didn't explain this very well up front. But it's a key step for uploading animated GIFs. Trivial trick. Bye.